tonight after uh, last week's city council meeting was cut short due to pro-Palestinian protesters. New rules were announced tonight. <laughs> Tonight, council made changes to ensure order and decorum during weekly meetings. Aubrey Buckley has the story. Speaking out of turn and making loud utterances are in violation of the rules of this council. New protocols announced at Cleveland City Council Monday night regarding disruptions at meetings. Griffin, Bishop Conwell, Gray, Harrison, Marsh. Council President Blaine Griffin says when the meeting is disrupted, there will be a warning. If it continues, the meeting will go into recess. The public safety director will clear council chambers. And when the meeting reconvenes, the public won't be allowed back in. This after last week's meeting was cut short due to chanting. I don't think that they have any um, malice to try to harm anybody. However, um, we have a right to run a meeting that has decorum and order. To try and stifle and limit um, participation in Cleveland City Council meetings, um, I think that that is what these rule changes are designed to do. On Friday, pro-Palestinian protesters took to the streets calling for a ceasefire resolution that continued Monday night during public comment. There is nothing complicated about saying stop the bombing of hospitals, schools, refugee camps, and return all of the hostages. And in spurts as the meeting went on. Two councilwomen speaking out, sharing their support. I'm sorry I've let so many, many meetings pass without using my voice to personally condemn the horrors of civilian killings in Israel and in Gaza and to add my voice to those around the world calling for a ceasefire. My heart continues to break for the unimaginable number of lives lost and for those held hostage in Gaza. <laughs> and a response from Griffin. Please consider yourself warned. Who says council does not feel it can release a fair and unbiased ceasefire resolution and is asking communities affected to discuss how they can both be acknowledged and seen. I was happy to hear the statement. I'm also disappointed because we want a resolution. We know that this will help protect Palestinians in Cleveland and it helps um, further our values as Clevelanders to call for an end to violence, whether in Cleveland, whether in Palestine, anywhere. Last week, the council approved changes to the public comment rules and procedures, which included no yelling, clapping, posters or signs. I did see all of that tonight, but Griffin says he's being very patient with the group, understanding how deeply personal and tragic the war is for many and respecting the right to protest. The group of Palestinian supporters tells me they plan to be at next week's meeting as well. Christy. All right, Bree, thank you. Of course.